Hello everyone, and just a quick video about tribalism before I go to work, because uh, I keep hearing this being bandied around all the time, specifically by the most tribal people in the world, uh, social justice warriors, and obviously some anti-social justice warriors too, who claim not to be specifically tribal, but anti-tribal, even though they act in a very tribalistic way, and you're either with them or against them, and you can't be part of any team, but you can't criticise that team either, but then when they do it, it's okay. But hey, whatever. Let's get into this, shall we? So what I hear all the time is if you don't criticise your own side all the time, if you say something that is exactly the same as them, if you use particular words and phrases that these people consider to be tribal, you are therefore tribalistic in nature. You are a, like a almost like a collectivist of some kind. You're very us versus them. Even though, in many cases, Either you found nothing to say in regards to criticism of your particular side or maybe somebody else has already said it and that's what you believe so you're thinking well you know I have nothing of value to add or you're simply using a plural you're using a plural and they've decided that because you use a plural to describe a group of people because that's what we use plurals for you're tribalistic usually it is a deflection usually it is a type of projection because these people tend to be very tribalistic themselves because they will group this whole bunch of people together and say this is an Islam apologist, this is a uh, misogynist, this is typical anti sws typical feminists and it's just it's ridiculous you're all doing it, you are all tribal, all you people like Tim and all the other types of SUWs that say that we're tribal, you're the ones who are tribal because let's be honest here, who are the ones who are actually criticising their own side? Who are doing it the most? anti SUWs are doing it the most. How much shit has AIU received? How much shit does... How much shit did Rebel Media get when they did that video on the alt-right? Their own fans criticised them for that. I don't see in your click, yeah, click. You're part of a click, even though you supposedly hate them. Uh, I don't see you criticising each other, but that's the thing. As Ranting Feminist said, you don't criticise each other in public, you criticise each other behind, like, the uh, curtain. You, you do it in private when you're then telling us to do it in public but you can't bring yourselves to criticise each other in public. Now that said, Garrett did do a response to one janitor once and that's, I guess, what he does and that's fine, look, he actually did something. But the thing is, if I use a plural to say you guys, if I'm talking about your group as, as you guys, that is not tribalistic, that is me using the English language. Me being tribalistic is to defend a particular person who shares a point of view of mine despite them being wrong like I would try and somehow make excuses for I don't know it could be their behavior or their point of view even if it's wrong if it's wrong and I defend it no matter what because that's, this is what I have to do that is tribalistic if I don't listen to you guys if I don't choose to basically listen to what you have to say because of who you are and what you believe that is tribalistic just like Steve Shires when he blocks people because they don't believe something that he believes in, that is tribalistic. He is a tribalist. Because I might intensely dislike some people on the opposite side that I disagree with, does not mean I am tribalistic. I just don't like those people. I don't want to talk to those people because I find them so reprehensible and I find them to be not worth talking to because there would be no benefit in talking to these people. I mean, sure, I can destroy their arguments, but at the end of the day, in order to make something constructive, you can't really talk to a person like Michael Rowlands. You can't talk to a person like Steve Shives because they don't want to be talked to, really. Although Michael Rowlands has been in debates, I feel like it's more on his terms rather than, you know, a compromise. These people don't really want a compromise. And that's for Steve or fucking, you know, it, you will say that we're the tribalists, but you've got one right there. And I've seen people like Tim, I've seen people like him defend shit when you can't really defend it. And Sargon has done the same recently with his group of friends against Harmful Opinions. I know some people will disagree with me on this, but that was a tribalistic move. Although more in the sense of this group of friends versus one person and his fans and their fans. It's kind of a tricky situation, but I would say that that is tribalistic. AIU fans are another tribalistic lot, but again, because of their worship of Devon, they're tribalistic. It's either their way or the highway, really. The amount of times you'll see right and left wingers constantly attack each other as the right, 
the left, liberals, conservatives, that's tribalistic. Because these people all know that not all right-wingers are conservatives, and not all left-wingers are liberals, and they're all individuals and have their different ideas and viewpoints, and may not even agree with each other, but they still lump each other in with everybody else, because it's convenient for them to do so for their arguments, and if everybody's the same, it's easy to argue against. That is tribalistic, and you see it constantly. People like that guy T, and Naked Ape have said the left, liberals, and Paul Joseph Watson with leftists. And then you'll see people like, for example, Spino, or uh, say, who, are the, who are the left-wingers who do it to the right? I would say more on the social justice warrior side, so you would, you would see people like the Christian Winters click go the right and say and group them all together even though they know they're not all the same. It's a pet peeve of mine. I try not to do that anymore. I guess I have fallen into that trap with feminism but to be honest apart from the equity ones like uh, Christina Hoff Summers the rest of them there's not that much of a difference. Now to talk about the more anti-social justice side of the argument I think the biggest acts of tribalism that I've ever seen, and this is more to do with fan bases really, of two different YouTubers, because I don't believe in a community of anti-social justice warriors and sceptics, I don't believe that, I think it's a disparate group of alliances and individuals who are working together, I don't think there's a sense of community, I know that Sargon and a load of other people will say there is a community, but they have a very broad wide definition of community so that anybody can be grouped in and I think that's very collectivist and I don't agree with that notion at all but it was the satirician versus the shoe on head debacle. Now some of you and I think I may have said this on streams I'm not so sure but some of you will be surprised considering I did the video on Armored um, Skeptic yes I have different opinions on different people and on different events that they've been a part of so for example I was on Skeptic side against Jenny McDermott because what she did was wrong, likewise against Shu. But I was against him with his whole arrogant act of saying people are clones as some kind of criticism. Even though sometimes it was a joke, I will concede that to him, but a lot of the time when he did it serious, it was ridiculous and hypocritical because he is one of the most derivative YouTubers in existence. I mean, he's, how many people has he ripped off? Like Logic listed a hell of a lot of people as well as himself, but also Red Letter Media. Armoured Media, what, why do you think it's called Armoured Media? Why does he review films on there? Why does he do it in that kind of half in the back style with Shu sometimes? That's not to say that he doesn't do well with the ideas that have been made for him, but that's what he's like. But anyway, back to Shu and Sat, I sided with Shu on that issue. Why? Because in the end, that was a good roast that she did of the satirician. Now some people will disagree with me on this, but how many people would have criticised her if it was, say, an SUW, for whatever reason, decided to respond to her poll, her satire of an SUW. Someone who actually did fall for it, but was criticising their own, someone who they perceived to be on their own side, because what she was saying was absolutely ridiculous, and I think if you're a reasonably level-headed person, no matter what side of the issue you're on, you would criticise that, wouldn't you? I don't think the reaction would have been as harsh if it was satirician as an SJW, if he was an SJW. I, I think people would have let that slide, but because it's a satirician, because he's smaller, and let's, let's be honest, he fucked up massively. He literally got polled by the most obvious poll. It's clearly her in a wig. It's clearly her voice with a different accent. She's put an inflection on the voice, but it's clearly her. It's quite clearly her. And he quite clearly has seen what she looks like. He's clearly watched videos, no matter what he said, because he did lie. He did lie. That was one of the issues. And yet people said she she went too far. What? She roasted him. You can roast anybody you want. This is a free platform, right? We're all supposed to be about, yeah, we can criticise each other, because that makes the so-called community healthy. Yeah, here you guys are attacking her for criticism of satirician, and it was justified criticism, and he was well and truly roasted. There's no way he could have responded to that in any way other than, oh, you got me. He, he just, he, he couldn't. Nobody could recover from that. And nobody's ever really been able to explain to me how she went too far. Like what? That's something she does to SCWs all the time and nobody bats an eyelid. But as soon as she does it to somebody like Satretition, oh shit nigga, can't do that. Oh fuck. Don't, don't do that, that's too harsh. Why is it too harsh? Would you say my criticisms of people on quote unquote my side are too harsh? Would you say that? Because you, imagine if it was AIU who got polled. Nobody, nobody would, again, bat an eyelid on that, apart from his fans. But I guess that's tribalism in a nutshell. It's very uh, awkward, it's very complicated, and it's bad for everybody. But what we're gonna do, there's always gonna be people like that who 
are very tribalistic, who are very divisive, and w well, I guess we can only call them out, but they're always going to be around because that's what the human race is kind of like, really. We are all a bit tribal, we all like to be a part of a tribe, a part of a, a group, and there's nothing wrong with that really at the end of the day there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a part of a community to want this whole skeptic thing to exist i'm not going to stop you from wanting that to exist it doesn't change the fact that it doesn't and if you want to be tribalist if you want to block me because of what i think or if you want to say that i'm too harsh to somebody because they're on my side because reasons go ahead i don't mind go ahead but yeah, at the end of the day it's detrimental. Anyway, that's it for me. I've got a rush. So until next time, this has been Charming Man Night Three. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to, donate to my Patreon if you want to, and until next time, I'll see you all later. <laughs>